Okay, it's time for another strange review where I must give my opinion on a game before I've played most of the content. This time it's Hitman's turn to become episodic with a full release on disc later in the year, along with bonus content in the interim for people who downloaded the game area by area. This one goes right back to the beginning, as Agent 47 is picked up by who is soon to become his handler at the ICA facility and put through some training missions based on a previous assassin's exploits. There are just two scenarios for you to play through in this prologue, one set on a boat, which actually looks like a movie set as you go about killing actors pretending to be people you can kill, and another one set on a Soviet base, also a movie set, where you can think up all kinds of creative ways to kill people. We're then taken into Paris where you can kill two suspects at a fashion show. Before we get into the gameplay, I'd just like to breathe a sigh of relief that the graphics in this game do actually look great. I was a bit worried when I saw some footage earlier in the year that things were going to look pretty awful, but things have been polished a lot since then. It's a bit odd that some animations seem unfinished though when you put people in closets and things. It's a bit jolting the way he doesn't actually pick bodies up off the floor, just pop up and put them in there. Okay, so what's the gameplay like? Well, it's what you'd expect if you have played Absolution or any other Hitman game. You move through the environment and it's up to you to play this deadly sandbox the way you want to. You can use special vision to see people through walls, including your mark or marks glowing red and then move through the crowd in disguises to access certain areas and pick up objects to help you kill people creatively. Poison, hammers, coins, wrenches and lockpicks are left scattered around for you to find and use and there's plenty of little things the game wants you to do for which it gives you a big tick. For example, you can achieve things simply by distracting a guard or then finding a weapon on the floor. You also get bonuses for dressing up in every single outfit if you can, or for just staying in your legendary suit and red tie combo. Another interesting mechanic for people who feel a bit overwhelmed by the freedom they have is opportunities. Listen in on a conversation and a marker will appear on screen that will guide you through a number of things you have to do to get the kill. This could range from dressing as a guard to get to someone's vodka so you can poison them and drown them in a toilet, to dropping a life raft on someone's head. Failing that, you could simply garrot them the old-fashioned way or just shoot them in the head. It really is very satisfying playing through this game slow and methodically, trying to replay the levels to achieve every way the game wants you to play. It is a bit strange that someone can get suspicious of you and then forgets about you almost immediately if you run around a corner, but that is preferable to the game giving you an instant fail if you do get spotted and there's no way to turn things around. Contracts make an appearance again so you can create your own missions for people to play online and set the rules for how the kill should be achieved and of course you can play other people's creations as well. IO Interactive will also be dropping elusive targets into areas which are only available for a limited number of hours. I'm not quite sure how that works yet because I haven't played it but it is an interesting idea. They've also put a more hardcore mode in there called Escalation which is the equivalent of a type of horde mode. You'll set the task of how to kill somebody in a simple manner and then as the levels go up the difficulty goes up as well giving you more and more tasks you have to complete in order to get the kill the way the game wants you to. You've also got no save here so you have to get it right and right first time. I really like playing through Hitman levels, I like the pace and the morbid humour that arises when tracking a virtual victim and making them meet their maker in a number of fun and interesting ways. The problem is, I do want it all now. Whilst there is replayability in the areas and missions, I also like story elements and putting a good weekend into playing through a game such as this. Oh well, I'm going to have to learn to be patient I suppose, and that can't be a bad thing. So here's the tricky bit, giving this game a score based on what I think the future content could bring. Based on what I've played, I'm going to play safe and give the game an excellent 8 out of 10.